Congratulations, 150 Asian Games. Uh, when you first made your appearance, did you think you were going to get up to the 150 mark, or did you think you were going to get to this milestone? No, not at all. Obviously, uh, yeah, 150, massive milestone, um, and to do it, uh, you know, the other night against Brisbane Raw at home in front of our home fans, in front of my family and friends, you know, was uh, was a special moment. And um, yeah, you know, glad to get to 150 games, and you know, hopefully, I can hit 200 and 250 now. So you know, that's the aim, and you know, the body's feeling good, and you know, very happy and in a good place at the moment. And uh, you know, football's going really well. You've had a young back line in front of you. How have you enjoyed the challenges as well as the perks of working with a younger sort of team back? Yeah, look, obviously it's been a challenge. Obviously, um, before COVID hit the hit the group, you know, we were on a on a bit of a run, you know, beating Sydney and Western Sydney Wanderers at home and keeping back to back clean sheets. Um, you know, it, it is a challenge. Obviously, having uh, a lot of young players, but it's a challenge that I like. You know. Uh, the performances, be, the performances have been there, even um, post-COVID when everyone's come back. Just obviously, uh, you know, uh, last-minute goals have killed us, you know, in a, in a couple of games. Um, but I think obviously, uh, you know, with such a young team, you know, these things are going to happen. But, you know, I'm enjoying my role at the club, you know, in the leadership group, working with, you know, Ollie, Simo, Rolsey and, you know, the coaching staff. Um, you know, it's been good. Um, and yeah, obviously the result against Brisbane on the on the weekend was a massive result for us. Um, you know, to put the last couple of weeks to bed and, and get that positive result at home in front of our fans was uh, was massive for the club. And hopefully now we can we can go on a, a bit of a run and um, you know climb up the ladder. And the rain has been affecting our training quite a little bit. We've been doing a lot more small sided games. You've probably been copying a lot more shots from close distance. Yeah. Can help your reactions. How have you kind of? Yeah, look, one thing we can't control is, is the weather and we're lucky here, you know, we've, we've, got, a, we've got a great facility, um, you know, we've been training on artificial, um, you know, obviously it's not a full size field, you know, it's a, it's a small field, but, uh, you know, training's been good, the boys are well prepared and, uh, you know, we're not using this as an excuse that uh, we haven't been able to train properly because, uh, you know, training's been good, the intensity's been high, you know, the camaraderie amongst the boys and the groups been good. So, um, you know, we've got a big game tomorrow night at home. Um, hopefully we get a good turnout and we're going to put in a good performance uh, against Melbourne Victory. Um, you know, we were unlucky a couple of weeks ago when we played them down there, you know, copping a last minute goal again. So, uh, you know, we'll be looking to, to put in a strong performance and, and come away with uh, with three points. And just on victory, you know, they were played twice already, but it was 1-0. They won both very close games, but it went either way. One was the cup final, both games have been in Melbourne. Do you see it as how much more of an advantage the fact that we're now at home against a team that has a lot of quality budget and also quality players on the field as well? Yeah, look, obviously Melbourne Victory are, you know, one of the best clubs in, in the league and, you know, they have, you know, their budget three times our budget. So, um, you know, when we played them twice in Melbourne, we really gave it to them. You know, we, we put in a good performance. Obviously disappointing not to come away, you know, from those two games with, with, with zero points. Um, but yeah, obviously at home, you know, it's our fortress, Central Coast Stadium. Obviously the weather's, you know, going to play a big part, um, but hopefully we get a big turnout, you know, from the fans and, and our supporters. Um, and yeah, we'll be looking to to put in a strong performance, um, you know, back up the game against Brisbane with another strong effort and hopefully, yeah, come away with three points.